So I've been putting uh, these long form interviews up on iTunes, and now kind of I cut them into pieces and put them on YouTube. Mm. But you're doing a podcast, so in a way, you're a bit of a competitor. Uh, for, my, not, for ears, and yeah. Hearts. I mean, I think twenty people have maybe heard our podcast. And your pod, uh, you mean your podcast is with who? Uh, my wife, Lindsay. We we do a podcast. About, I thought like, what's like the worst idea ever? Okay, a podcast <laughs> about books. Um, <laughs> I disagree yeah. with that, but keep going. I know you're being funny, but, it, but yeah. it's true. No, we um because we just we read a lot, and and she she actually plays bass guitar, and she's very musical. But I have like five thousand bands or projects that I'm working on musically and we just thought let's do something fun together for both of us that we can just do for ourselves and if people are interested great so be Sweet. it uh, so we do a podcast called book narcs so what do you do do you take a a book and go Oprah on it or do we you still take don't books? Even, we don't know what our format is yet oh, okay. we've, almost each one is slightly different but we just bring in a friend a guest of some sort and we sort of go through their history of book reading from being a, a little kid to however old they are now mm. that's usually like the first 20 minutes or so uh, that plus just getting to know who they are if people don't know who they are and um, and how we know them. And then maybe there's like two or three books that we really kind of focus on or authors. Um, we just put one out recently with Eric Moline, who was the drummer of Ultimate Fake Book, who was one of the first bands that ever took us out on Motion City out on tour. Oh, sweet. Uh, and he's actually the 2013 uh, Air Guitar World Champion. <laughs> Uh, and he and he's, he does so many things, and he does this great um, thing on. Uh, it's called Scene Stealers. Okay. Uh, scene, scene, sorry, scene dash Steelers dot com, okay. and it's just tons of movie reviews and such. But anyway, so he's kind of all over. He's got so many things going on, but. Uh, that's that's the latest thing we did, and then I think our first episode is with Jenny Owen Youngs. She's an amazing musician. I don't know if you've mm. heard of her, but uh, she she did did us a favor by being our first guest. Uh, because you all have a book that you all read. Um, we started doing that, but then it got to be too overwhelming to yeah. have to read like five books in a week. Um, so can you just sort of, so. I mean, because it would be cool for me to tell you, hey, I just read this book, let me tell you about it. And then you go, oh, I should read that book. And then you yeah. do the same for me. Well, I think that's kind of what it, it's, it's become, like the last couple interviews that we've done, it was just sort of talking about authors. And so I knew like with the, in the instance with Eric that he was really into pulp fiction and, and pulp mm. writers. And so we touched a lot on James Elroy. Um, and I'm trying to think, uh, 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 Jim Thompson. And I'd read a lot of books by both of those authors. So mm. I, I was kind of well-versed, but he, he totally schooled me because he's a smart man.